What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at my latest creation, my Steam Deck Backplate Mark 8. Before we get into what's going on on this Mark 8, let's talk about its predecessor. The one right before it, which was the Mark 7. These two backplates are completely the same except for this bump out here with this port because this bump out in this port is housing our M.2 extension adapter. So, meaning, slide this bad boy open, we are able to access our M.2 because of this M.2 extender. I got this thing on Amazon. I'll go ahead and post it right here and in the link below if you wanna know uh, what it was and how much it was. I think it was right under $20 about a while ago but now we get easy access to our ssd storage where we could easily swap it out for another one of similar size or we can kick things up and use a normal size ssd uh nvme um and one great thing about these ones is they are cheaper than the smaller version of them and uh, you can get more storage for less money so what we do is pop this bad boy in, pull this tab all the way back, not too far back like that. Um, right now we don't have mounting for this, but I found an easy solution for a big problem. Piece of foam, slide that through, bada bing, bada boom, that SSD is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not, it's not, it's just not. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. So. Not the greatest solution. Everyone probably would say screw it down, but as you can see, it's still secure, no problem. No. The main purpose of this port is not necessarily to be able to expand or swap out our storage easily. The main purpose is to attach a graphics card to it. So if you remember my previous videos of the mothership, we went ahead and attached a GPU to the Steam Deck. Many people have done it in the past. It's nothing new. It makes it easier. It's just a way easier way to access it. So if you take a look here, there's a little opening right there, little opening there. And the reason why that opening exists is so I can take my PCI X to 16 slot and slide it through in there. This is one by ADT link. I'll go post in the link. There are better ones out there. This one does need an external power supply. Every graphics card needs an external power supply but this one actually needs a like real external power supply workarounds around that but it's the cheaper just to use a old or cheap power supply because this graphics card only pulls about 180 watts so you don't need that much power but that thing slides right in there through that hole we put a little bit of foam this uh cover is a flexible cover this whole system was printed with petg uh for or for not necessarily just flexibility, but for um, heat resistance, but mainly because this port is, um, I had a latch system that was doing like this, but then it was just, it was too inconsistent and faulty. I didn't like it. So I went for something, I'm just path of least resistance. This is the easiest solution I could think of and it worked great. It's a flexible cover and all you do is it slides, holds the compression, bada bing, bada doom, bada boom, plug in our, our GPU to that. And then our SSD would go over a USB a dongle for the NVMe, or if we use the SATA or regular size two and a half mm, uh, two and a half SSD, you don't have to use NVMe anymore. I would n always say never to run your operating system on a micro SD card, just because it's so slow. It's so slow. Just run it off an external um, SSD. It's just so much better. And also we went ahead and we printed these um, legs so that we could prop this bad boy when we are using it with our graphics card. I went ahead and just kind of printed them kind of independently because it's it's a chunky boy now and because of this back end, super chunky boy. So I couldn't really figure out where these placements would be the best place. And since this cable is gonna be kind of moving around, I said, why not just, just do two independent legs? All right, two independent legs, why not? Let's talk about uh, the graphics cards we're gonna be using. Um, 
And we won't go into testing in this video just because I'm working on a new docking system for this thing. And I want to show those two together. Um, the graphics card we're going to be using is something that we've used in other videos, the PC build video. This is the RX 580 uh, Sapphire Nitro. Um, I love this card. It's a beautiful card. Um, I got it for really next to nothing. I got this card. Really, really inexpensive card. And about 70 bucks um, with like $10 shipping. Um, so a little about 80, 85. I think that's a great deal. And the reason why we picked this RX 580, for those that understand the dichotomy of CPU strength and GPU strength, you always want to keep them somewhat balanced. And the reason why you want to keep them balanced, meaning you one is not too overpowered versus the other, is because um, you're leaving money on the table. Meaning I can throw in a high-end 6700 XT or 7900 XT to this, to this Steam Deck, but it would be a waste of money because the steam deck cpu cannot keep up with the gpu so it's always good to find a nice happy balance between the two and i feel like the rx 580 is a great balance between the two it is still a little bit op for the steam deck cpu meaning it is the cpu is going to be holding this bad boy back but these things are cheap these are so cheap it's it's really easy you can get this cheaper than you can get the dongle with then the m.2 it's cheaper to get the graphics card than it is to get the attachment to attach the graphics card so if you can save a little bit of money save it that's the way i look at it other than that one thing about this which if you saw the original extending m.2 extension video the one thing most people probably don't understand when it comes to uh putting an expandable storage on m.2 is the heat shield is now missing from the steam deck meaning since the heat shield is missing we're not really cooling the soc as well as we normally would with that heat shield so it is very imperative to have external cooler, meaning you need to have a fan pushing air in. So that's why the Mark 7 backplate was such a good platform because we do not have that heat shield anymore. And as you can see, I won't go ahead and open it all up because it was a bit of a pain to bunch that stuff in there. Um, we don't have that heat shield anymore. Um, so it is imperative to keep the SOC as cool as we can. So this, this USB that powers this USB fan always needs to be on when we're rocking this external backplate just to make sure everything stays nice and safe. I'm pretty sure everything would be good regardless. Um, we're not overclocking anymore because of the update. So that's kind of sucks. Uh, hopefully there's going to be a fix for that in the future because I definitely want to uh, uh, overclock that CPU so we can really get the most possible out of that GPU that we have. Other than that, guys, this is the Mark 8 backplate. I love this thing. Ah, uh, this thing is so freaking cool. And I am planning to revise this version uh, when I do get the revised version of Steam Deck. Meaning I did when I go ahead and purchase the OLED version of this. Ugh, if you saw my OLED video, you understand why I want the OLED version of this. I feel like that's the one thing Lenovo Legion and the ROG Ally really missed the ball. They stuck with a 1080p screen that was doing 100 plus uh, frames, which is useless in a handheld because most of the games you play, um, for the most part, are not gonna need 100 over 100 frames, but a crisper, more quality screen um, is the way to go, in my opinion. And, and that's 100% my opinion. It's like you don't need that much horsepower for majority of the games. Obviously, this thing can't play tr most AAA games like that. But when you drop it down to that 800p, which this one, will, that, the OLED will have, it's gonna, it's gonna be great. So I'm really excited for that to come out. Um, Definitely going to revise the Mark 8 backplate to fit that one and also revise the Mark 7 backplate to fit that one. The Mark 7 is actually not going to change very much, if at all. All the screw placements are all the same from what I can tell uh, between the, the iterate the new version of Steam Deck versus uh, the old version. So this one probably won't even need any revisions. One thing, though, that uh, Valve has done, they put a, a couple bump outs and I'll probably put a couple clips of that here on the heat shield which um 
it looks like they did that on purpose so people couldn't attach things to that heat shield anymore, which I think is stupid. And I hate how they did that. They're trying to limit us. I I don't know why they did that. That's kind of I was kind of I was kind of upset about that. And I believe the newer versions of the previous generation uh, Steam Deck have those little tiny bump outs as well. So that sucks. That sucks. But guys, other than that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay tuned for the next one. When we plug these two together, we're going to put them on a 144 hertz display at 2K. And we're going to do some serious gaming on there. And I freaking can't wait. Look at this thing. It just works. Yeah, it's not the cleanest little foam thing. But it works, guys. It works. It works. It works. Nothing's going anywhere. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit it. Hit that like. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to know more about the Mark 7 and more about this Mark 8, leave them in the comments below. If you have any, have any thoughts of things that we could add to this that would be, you know, make it better, I'm all ears. Maybe some storage back here. We have a big blank space over here that we could just add some storage ports, maybe something for our, for our M.2s that we're not using or possibly micro SDs. <laughs> not this one. Don't use these ones. Don't run your operating system on this. This is, maybe we could, yeah. Something like that, something like that. We have plenty of room. It's, it's a waste of space, right? There's nothing over here. We could do, stay, stay. But guys, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.